Hello, this is Steve. I'm going to do some cooking tonight. I'm going to make chili cheese on rice with the firebox and with our new camp kit pot. I'm going to use some kind of new techniques uh, this go around and let's just see how they work. I think they're going to work good. So let me get the firebox out here. Get it going. Got a few pine needles, which are awesome for starting fires. I'm loading this wood in real fast, so it's not having a chance to get hot before I'm asking it to burn, so that's why it's smoking so much. Two cups of water, one cup of rice. And I forgot to put my ash pan in, so I'll put that in. And I'll put my lid on so that this will boil faster. Okay, my rice is boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the pot off. And since I wanna cook this rice at a low temperature, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this fire stick off. It's very hot, so I'm not gonna touch it. But I'll use this other fire stick to put my grill plate in place. So I'm just gonna use this butter knife here to help me get this into position. Oh. I guess I don't need to. So now that that grill plate's in place, I think that'll dampen the heat just a little bit or defuse the heat and allow that to cook at a lower Go temperature. The compass can of chili. And I'm going to get it going. Well, this is still boiling, so maybe that temperature's still a little bit warm. I'm going to go ahead and get... Let it heat up while I'm cooking off that rice. Okay, I'll check back with you in 20 minutes. We'll see how everything looks. Okay, I actually put a couple more sticks in there because it just didn't seem to be staying quite hot enough to last the full 20 minutes. But now it seems a little too hot. So I'm gonna put my fire sticks in these slots here so that I can, so I can have my pot on here but it'll be held a little bit of a distance away from the grill plate which I think will uh, kind of defuse the heat even a little bit more than having the pan sitting right on the grill plate. All right, we're almost finished here. Oh, there's our 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up, see what the rice looks like. Oh yeah, the rice looks beautiful. Let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better. So let's go ahead and pull off our tin foil. We've got our chili steaming nice and warm. And if we pull this off, we've got our rice. So let's go ahead and put the spoon down in here and let's see what we got, see if we burned it. Let's see, I'm probably going out of frame here. That rice looks just about perfect. I don't see anywhere that that rice is burned. So that really worked out great. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour my chili over my rice. And 
Hmm, how's that look? Pretty good to me. Put my cheese on there. Oh, yeah. And then I'm just going to let that finish up a little bit. A little bit more time to melt my cheese for me. Okay, dinner is served. Let's see what we've got here. Chili cheese and rice. Oh, yeah, look at that. We've got our cheese all melted. And I don't even think I'm going to worry about the plate. I'm just going to eat it right here out of the pot. Ooh, look at that. That's that looks wonderful. Mmm, yeah, that's delicious. Yeah, the rice is fully cooked. Man, I'll tell you what, you cook something like this in an emergency situation for your family. I mean this is enough food here to feed four people. You cook this up for your family and you're gonna be a hero. Well, thank you everybody for watching, and I'm just going to go ahead and finish my meal here. And until next time, uh, signing off, this is Steve from FoldingFirebox.com.